question is an aeroplane flies horizontally at a height h at a constant speed v an anti aircraft gun fires a shell at the plane when it is vertically above the gun so that the minimum muzzle velocity of the shell required to hit the plane is given by v square plus 2 gh square root at an angle of tangent inverse 2 gh divided by v and its square root so first of all we will draw the basic trajectory path of both plane as well as the projectile so let us see that this is a horizontal plane and this is a point A from which the shell is fired and when the, the moment the shell is fired from point A the plane is vertically above A let us see this point is C and this height is given as H and the plane is traveling with a horizontal velocity of V and the projectile or the shell is launched at an angle of theta with the initial velocity u and let us suppose that they meet at this point p let us call this as m so we see that as both shell as well as plane from point C leaves at the same instant. Let us suppose that time at which plane and shell leaves is given by T. So you can see that T will be the time of flight for plane as well as shell. So the plane is traveling horizontally with the velocity v. So the distance pc will be equal to and this is for plane will be equal to v multiplied by t and distance traveled the horizontal distance rather traveled by the projectile or shell is am so we can say that horizontal distance traveled by shell that is equal to am will be equal to the horizontal velocity that is ux multiplied by t so we can divide u into two components horizontal component as well as vertical component so horizontal component will be equal to u cos of theta vertical component will be equal to u sin of theta and acceleration due to gravity in vertical direction will be equal to minus g so we can substitute the value ux as u cos theta so we get u cos theta multiply by t so this distance pc is equal to distance am we substitute the values we get this as vt is equal to u cos theta multiply by t or we can write that u cos theta is equal to v let us call this as question number one so for the shell the motion in y direction for shell motion in y direction or we can say vertical motion vertical 
motion. So you can write the distance s y u y plus half a y t square. S y is given as h. So h is equal to u y is u sine theta u sine theta multiplied by t minus half g t square. Now in this case, in order to for the uh, shell to hit the plane, we are going to consider the limiting case. Which means that the plane, if plane is not to be hit not to be hit by the shell if the max height maximum height reached by the shell reached by the shell is less than the height of the plane. Height of the plane in this case is h. So this clearly means that point P is the highest point point P is the highest point in the trajectory in the trajectory of the shell so we can clearly write that H which is the maximum height will be equal to u square sine square theta divided by g and time to reach this maximum height will be equal to t u sine of theta divided by g. So from this equation we can write that u sine theta will be equal to sorry here it is 2g u sine theta is equal to 2hg and its square root so let us call this as equation number 2 so dividing equation 2 by equation 1 we are going to get this as u sine theta divided by u cos of theta is equal to 2gh divided by v this comes as tan theta which is equal to 2gh divided by v or we can say that theta is equal to tangent inverse of square root 2 g h upon v. In the second part we are going to square first and second and add them. Squaring first and second and Adding them. So equation 1 is given as u cos theta plus v. So its square will be equal to u cos u square cos square theta plus. Equation 2 is given as u sin theta. So it is u square sin square theta 
this will be the left side and right side it will be v square plus 2gh and its square root square yes so taking u square as common we are left with cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to v square plus 2gh this is 1 so you can say that u square is equal to v square 2gh or u is square root of u square plus 2gh so this proves the second part thank you